God bless and good morning. I'm making this video to comment on the issue of postmodernists having a view of reality that's subjective. And through my experience with psychedelics and the teachings of Alan Watts, I have a unique point of view, obviously because it's my own, and I want to share it with the world because I think it's important and it's something that's being missed. Now this clip here is going to have some context to what I'm talking about. You may not realize it, but you are currently funding some dangerous people. They are indoctrinating young minds throughout the web with their resentment-ridden ideology. They have made it their life's mission to undermine Western civilization itself, which they regard as corrupt, oppressive, and patriarchal. If you're a taxpayer or paying for your kid's liberal arts degree, you're underwriting this gang of nihilists. You're supporting ideologues who claim that all truth is subjective. Okay, now, that is something that has been an issue on YouTube and in politics for a while, especially with far left crazy SJWs. And something important about it is, I, they believe all truth is subjective. And this requires some, kind of some drawing here. So, basically, Say you've got a rock, right? Just whatever, a rock. Okay. Now the rock itself... Damn, fucking phone won't focus. Come on. The rock itself and the word rock are two different things, right? They're separate. Now, the word rock means this, but the word rock is not an actual rock. The word rock is vibrations made by our mouth to identify the rock itself. So when you do psychedelics and you get heavy into that stuff, your mind kind of separates the two and you realize or re-realize the difference because when you grow up and you're taught a rock is a rock, you kind of just go, oh the word rock is rock. And a lot of these far left SJWs are druggies who basically see the world as the physical actual world itself and then the words that we use to describe the physical world as two different things in their minds so therefore the physical world is separate from the world that we create of words so in their minds reality and everything is subject truth is subjective because we create the truth through words and that's different from the actual reality and this is a big thing and this is why SJWs and leftists far left crazy lefties believe that truth is subjective I used to be in this mindset I used to think this way I used to believe this so I can say it from experience that this is why they say truth is subjective because technically it is in the sense that what you were taught or what you know um, constrains the world into your reality and technically it is subjective but your reality is subjective not reality as a whole and because things like acid and shrooms give you the false impression that you're God and we're all one and not in a sense of we're all one with God but that you are God yourself this gives people an illusion that they can fall into in a trap that that you create your own reality through some sort of weird like projection thing and that there is no God and there is no religion so it's a soulless emptiness and it's a attempt to find meaning because they believe in nothing and I can say that because I used to be that. And I want to go into this more and really hash out my ideas and my thoughts on this, but I just think it's important for people like Dr. Jordan Peterson and the really smart older intellectuals who are in their 30s and 40s that maybe didn't get into these drugs and heavy stuff so much, but don't understand where crazy drug heads are coming from, where because the word isn't the thing, then the, th the word is a choice. So somehow you can choose to make the word mean something different and that changes 
the reality of the thing the word was used to describe in more depth again in future videos. But this has really been digging at my mind because I feel like it's an important connection as to why people such as Dr. Peterson, they talk about, and a lot of people on, on the right and the centrist middle, and even some leftists talk about how they don't understand this objective reality thing, and this is what it boils down to, is is just drugs. It's, it's, it's foolishness, and it's a bunch of idiots on drugs. <laughs> uh, I used to be one of those idiots. I know I laugh and I sound dis dismissive and demeaning, but... I used to be one of these people. I used to be super far left, SJW, I thought America sucked, I hated myself, I hated the cops, cops were racist, the whole nine yards. I was one of those people. So when I see far leftist crazy SJWs doing and saying and acting certain ways, I know exactly why they're acting that way, because I used to be one of them. And I had a red pill moment when, a few years back over something really stupid and it's been a slow awakening and I want to join in the conversation because I think it's important and now I'm just rambling so I'm gonna end this here um, God bless hope you have a wonderful day